the guy in his heart is one of the first girls up there. He's the one in this place. It is absolutely We should have brought a tennis ball for game catch. <laughs> It's nice to see that the staff get the best of it here, as opposed to asking the staff. Seriously, do you need any work. physical teachers here? Physical <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Staff do you? Now. Absolutely. We have not had any staff. We're actually, um, we've got jobs going for a new head of science at the moment. Hello. Mm. Awesome. Hey, in that case, if I rocked up here, do I get a house like you? Yeah. You well, have to do the boarding do first. Right, need to do the boarding first. So, like, so my first part was in the boarding house, oh, and I had to do like one boarding duty a week. Mm -hmm. Normal. But now um, I don't have to do any. <laughs> I've earned my place. I thought you had a biscuit there for a second. I was about to go. <laughs> Where's my biscuit? Oh, would you no, like some no biscuits? biscuits. You've got biscuits. Sorry, there was biscuits in the kitchen. Mm. Biscuit, Willie, all the biscuits. I want the staff to say what happened to all the biscuits. No, I was just saying. <laughs> we're that the ghosts in the morning, of the biscuits. We have, um, we have a tea lady, and she she basically works in the kitchen and fills up for nothing. And then in the morning, she brings tea and ca um, biscuits down here, and then in the afternoon, she brings tea and cakes oh, on wow. a little trolley into here. What they actually give you cakes as well? Every day. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Where's the dinner hall then? Oh, extra the cake. I house. still find time right. to go to okay. Tesco's for the three pound meal deal. <laughs> yeah, we get a free lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you want it. Too late. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh wow. Jack Torrance. Jesus. I should have brought my tricep. It is the <gasps> business, isn't it? Yes. Oh yeah, like shining. You're kidding around the shining. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's an opportunity missed. Just leave him in here and really freak someone out in the morning. Should we just have no, a wait, wait, wait. Let's have a cup fight oh, wait, and then wait. there'll be just everyone. Are you going to do some part of mine? Do they, no, no, do, let's do a stack. No, let's see if we can get them to move. Oh, yeah. Ouija. Okay, point your torches. Let's move that. Too long. Take as long as you like. I'm quite glad we did this as well as the ball directory. Yeah, yeah. This is a good contrast. Yeah, it is. It's, it's cool. much more closed. Mm. It's going to make a great video. Because we are literally in the middle of nowhere. If we screamed, no one would hear us. Right. Okay, so the legend of the Black Hands. At the start of the 20th century, a young coal for the state worker with an eye for the ladies met a grisly end. Most of the village knew of this young Casanova's antics apart from the lad's young fiance. Mystery still surrounds his identity, um, his untimely demise, sorry. Um, every day an estate worker would fetch the great iron key and climb the step ladder to wind the old clock high above the red brick um, Cadogan stables, now the prep school. But one day, the man whose task uh, was whose work to wind the clock was suddenly taken ill and the young Casanova was summoned to take his place. Putting the large iron key in his pocket, he leant to the ladder against the bricks and climbed the wooden rungs until he reached the top. He took a moment to gaze across, Colford from the top of the ladder. A sunny day, he could see the lake shimmering at the western end of Colford Park. His life was good and soon he would marry his young fiancée. He pushed the key into the black hole and led to the mechanical train behind the clock face. Suddenly, something snapped inside the clock. The cracking sound was heard by the grooms below and looked up. At the top of the ladder, the young man watched, transfixed with horror, as the thin, razor-sharp black hands of the clock began to spin backwards the way of witches. On meeting the young man's own hands, they instantly sliced both off at the wrist. Traumatised, the young man fell to his death. Some of the Colford residents believe it was a terrible accident, but legends say there were some with knowing smiles on their faces, angry at his despicable treatment of the fiancé and the local girls they had taken matters into their own hands. Yeah, it's a sign of witches that when the clock turns backwards. No. It's the so it's the sound of sign of witches. Sign of witches when the clock turns really? Backwards. So but I've never known. I never knew that. He actually genuinely died because he's buried in the graveyard. What's his name again? Ooh, Widdershins. Sorry, yeah, yeah, that's when it spins backwards. Where grave, I don't know his grave. What he's called, but I know he's buried in there. Wow. Widdershins. Never heard of that before. That's really fascinating. That was a good story. 
was wow, a good story. story that, wasn't it? So ghosts. Oh, unless there's actually a woman in there who actually turned the clock back herself. But Dude. God, can you imagine if like you'd survived having both of your arms chopped off? I know all that time wasted learning to play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> play it with your top. Okay, we've just turned all the lights off in the uh, in the room. It's pitch black. The only light that we're getting is from this screen right here. So as I'm pointing this around, you can probably see yourself in there. In there. But now you just look like uh, the people on TV. So if you look at the camera, I bet your eyes are all white in the middle. Oh, excellent. Let's get Simon's white eyes. It just takes a whole new dimension Cameraman's when the lights are off, doesn't it? <laughs> it just takes a whole new dimension when the lights are off. That's a keeper. Just in case there's a guy, you'll be the target. <laughs> Don't know, it could be a gay guy and then he'll go for press. Yeah, yeah okay. it's totally <laughs> okay. Because he'll be the target. Because that man on the bike thought that we were gay. <laughs> but he was just after you, really. He was. He wanted to see if I was a threat. this but Simon's looking in the corner as if he's seen something like no, a dog. No, it's on my attention, it's just always drawn to that door. That's the only light again. I'll see if I can get it. I guess so faint you can't see anything. Let me take it off night vision so that the folks at home can see what we're seeing. <laughs> Which is not That's so borrowed from Ghost Adventures. Is it? <laughs> like I'm now pointing at Maria. I'm now rotating, I'm pointing at Simon. I'm pointing at the camera around spicy. And this is me turning it around to point at myself, which you can't see because it's pitch black, you see. And now we're gonna activate night shot. This camera is brilliant. Is I really, really should have read the manual. Okay, back to the lady, just in case it's a non gay ghost. Male. If it's a female, well, it'll be me. I'm sorry, Chris Spice, but <laughs> It'll be me. <laughs> That's what knows I'm taking. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Simon. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a bit of bullshit, but... Okay. This is uh, the cup in night vision. We can't see the cup, even though it's right in front of us. Okay, this is... Uh, Adam and Simon. And we are off to the... Where are we going? We're going to go down to the basement. But I think we should have a look at this court. This is the entrance where a lady in Victorian dress was seen oh, yeah. through the door. So we're going to show you a picture of that, which is actually from camera footage in a little bit. Okay. Okay, uh, Simon and I have just come down to the... Where is this? The basement? What are they called? The this? basement, the cellar. The cellar. And we, we've come to a place, part of it, a section of it, that we didn't come to the first time. And we've literally just it's been hit it. with it's a really cold, cold breeze. I mean, it could just be the dynamics and the layout of the place. Let me come and feel this warm section you're talking about. This bit, it, it's not here. It's fine here. Yeah, it's warm here. And back over here. So cold. It's not as cold. Oh, it's cold. Wow. Okay. It's definitely cold in this direction. I'm yeah. here. Yeah, I just heard a bang down here. It's going to this place. This is where it's getting colder as I get closer. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. Right. right. Well, the reason why it's cold is because we've got a single paned old fashioned sash windows. One of them looks to be bo has a board on it for some reason. Possibly because there's a window out. Yeah that way so coming in closer right yeah this gap this gap is where the cold is coming from ah, okay so that is not however I am finding this place a little bit on the this is a good creepy vibe to it 
know, we've got children's prams, an old fashioned uh, cash register in there, register, props possibly from a show, oh if that red jacket's a 44 regular it's mine. <clears throat> I'm getting a cold spell in here. Same deal with the window. Okay. Uh, thank you for letting us come to your house. Uh, amazing place. Okay, well, it's just myself and Adam in the basement now. If anyone is here, can you please let us know? Um, we'd love to meet you. If you could show yourself in one way, even if you could tap one of us, or if you can make a noise to prove that you're here, would be very much appreciated.